Hey everyone. So if you guys own a G35 and you're thinking about getting or you have a quarter intake, you know that they sit way down inside of your fender. So if you're like most people, you're probably worried about getting your car hydro locked from water getting up in there. So this video is just to go over a couple things you can do to make sure that doesn't happen. First and foremost, with the engine intake, this little connection right here, you can actually take this off and you can put your filter right here, which I've done. I'm going to show you a picture of that. And when you do that, pretty much guarantees that you're not going to have water coming in there uh, because you're now turning your colder into a short run intake and it's up in the engine bay. You don't have to worry about your engine getting hydro locked. Second thing you can do is to buy a hydro sock or hydro shield. So all that is, is is a little blue thing around it. If you look at my other videos, you'll see uh, I did a test on it to make sure, just to kind of prove that it actually works. Um, and all the hydro shield does is it keeps your, uh, your filter from actually getting water on it. All right, the third thing that you can do is the most intense and actually the most work on trying to get, keep water from getting up in there. So what I've done here is I've attached my front license plate. If you don't have a front license plate or you don't use one, uh, you can always buy one. Or if you're in California or a couple other states, they actually require you have it on the front. So what I've done is this is where the license plate usually goes. The previous owner drilled holes in it. I've lost that little plastic piece that goes in there. And I plan on replacing the front bumper anyways. So I have actually drilled straight into the bumper and with those there and I bolted it and I put two nuts in the back to make sure it stays. Um, I've also seen other people just use zip ties and zip tie it onto here, the bottom mesh. Uh, that works too. I didn't zip tie because I wanted the whole thing to be covered and I'm going to be replacing the front bumper eventually anyways so I don't care about this front bumper. So what this does is on the factory piece you have a little plastic piece that looks like this. Alright, that little plastic piece right inside of there. You have one of those on this side as well. So I've taken that out along with back here, plastic piece here, and then right behind here it's like little styrofoam pieces that sit inside your bumper. So I've taken all that out, I've cleared everything that's behind here, that's stock. Um, all it is for this is two little clips. As you can see right there, there's two little holes. And those two holes hold the clips that hold that little plastic piece in. The styrofoam, you can just pull that right out. And what this does, guys, is it keeps any water from going directly through the mesh onto your intake but by removing all the factory pieces on the inside the plastic piece and the styrofoam you allow for a clear passageway of air to go right through so if you see right here behind the mesh it's all or behind the license plate sorry is all the other mesh and then you can actually from right here see the colder intake so colder intake is literally sitting right there behind the license plate and all the air comes right here it flows right through there any water that would come up and hit it is now hitting the license plate if any water does get back here it's gonna be very very minimal um, because straight behind the license plate if you go straight to it I right mean there's a plastic piece so and then when you scoot over, then you have it. So any water that comes in direct contact right here is going to be either hitting a license plate or will be hitting the plastic piece right behind here. So you have very minimal water actually getting to your intake back there. And with all that minimal water, uh, anything that does get back there, the hydro shield will definitely be able to take care of because now you're not getting a lot of contact or a lot of water back there. So the hydro shield can definitely take care of any of the excess water that does get back there. And again, this just allows for an amazing passage of just cold air to come straight through, uh, straight from the outside while making sure no water gets on there. So I really hope this video helps someone out. Uh, 
possibly with their decision on whether or not they want to get a colder intake. Um, you can look at some of my other videos. I kind of talk about uh, is a colder intake good or bad. Check out my other videos on my page. Uh, you'll see does it help gas mileage, does it help with power. You can see that all that stuff in my video. And um, if you're thinking about getting one, all I can say is I definitely suggest getting one. Uh, again, it's totally up to you, but this is just a little modification that you can do. Uh, just for extra protection to make sure that no water is getting on that colder intake that you absolutely loved and installed on your car. So that's it for today, guys. Really short video. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. Comment down below any questions or anything. And I appreciate everyone for watching my video. Have a great day. Peace.